I wanted to take this opportunity to show everyone how to use the uh, the Gunner Technology shortcode widget converter. And uh, if you have that plugin installed, the uh, the Gunner Technology shortcode plugin, it allows you to embed any widget you may have on your site as a um, as a shortcode. So basically, what I mean by this is, if you look at this page right here, you have the main content in the in this main this main rail here, which starts with the headline "Green Book." We've got you covered, Mr. Michael Bloomberg. And on the right hand side, you have this sidebar. And as you, if you're familiar with WordPress, you know that you put widgets in sidebars, which is all good and well. You have cool stuff like Facebook ads, uh, Twitter uh, appointments, latest news. But what happens if you wanted to actually put one of those in the content? Well, normally you'd be out of luck. But with this plugin, it makes it very easy to do so. Let's take latest news, for example. So that, that widget is right here, latest news. And you can see right here, here's the settings for it. Title, latest news, post status, published, post type, post, category, any, uh, post per page, 10, start the search, start getting articles from the beginning of time and end today, and a very is various other list of uh, parameters that you can set for this widget. There's a lot of them. Uh, the interesting part, though, down here is where it says short code, and then it has this little snippet that right that's highlighted right here. If you copy this, if you copy this and then go into the actual post and paste it, update this, then you can come back to your page. refresh and have latest news right in your post. Now, we also give you the ability to override some of the settings. So you see here, it says latest news. You can go in here and uh, you can override the parameters you set. So if you wanted to say title equals, it's a short code, updates. you can come back here and you can see that it will be updated with, it's a short code. And so any setting that is over here, all these, you can override at the individual um, short code level. If you don't override any of those, it'll just use whatever settings you have for this widget. So in this case, we change the title from latest post uh, to my, or it's a short code. What happens if we wanted to only get one post per page? So, we see here that the name of this the name of this parameter is posts per page. We're looking down here and you can see it says posts per page. So then we can come back over to here and we can say post per page equals one. Update again. Come back here and refresh. And then you have just one post. So any widget you can see, we can look at any of these widgets. Any of these widgets now have the short code that you can take and you can paste into the body of a post, a page, or whatever else you want to. And it'll automatically put the widget right there. So the only tricky part is figuring out what fields you can override. And so to do that, again, I just use uh, the DOM inspector to look at the field. And you'll see between brackets here, it says this, this one will be called num results. This one would be called description. And that's the only tricky part is figuring out what the name of the fields are. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward and it, it's an easy way to add widgets to the inside of your posts and pages.